today we're going to be going over some of the best armies that you can be building in age of empires mobile and since there's four different troop types in this game we're going to be going over a couple of armies for each troop type and i'm going to give you guys a sort of free to play version of every army and then we're going to go over a couple of different builds that might be easier to work on if you're spending a little bit in the game and i'm just going to say right at the beginning of this video there are actually a lot of really strong armies that you could build as free to play here in age of empires mobile the way that the star and rank system works in this game you can definitely get your hands on a lot of super powerful legendary heroes without spending anything at all i think that's a huge misconception of the game at launch but we'll talk about that a little bit later now before we jump in if you appreciate guides for age of empires mobile consider dropping a thumbs up on the video and subscribing it really helps out the channel a ton and i do want to remind you guys that i am in a special event server server number 64 for the path to the imperial city event right now my alliance omni fans is in eastland the starting zone I'd love to have you guys join me in this server and you could do so for free with my link down below and as such I'd like to thank Age of Empires Mobile for sponsoring today's video okay now the first thing I want to do here is explain a couple of different things about heroes so that way you understand what it is we're looking at when we're building these armies the power of a hero can be increased in a couple of different ways first of all you can level up your hero either by using these XP tombs that you get throughout the game or by battling tribes out in the world you can also increase the rank of this hero by obtaining more of their medals different heroes are obtained in different ways some heroes are easier to get for free to play players than others so we'll talk about that throughout this video as you progress your city in age of empires mobile you'll also unlock the smithy which will then unlock the ability to add gear to your heroes we also have talents for your heroes which are obtained automatically for free when you're leveling up the hero and finally we have skills for the hero down here every hero has four skills two of them the first two skills are unique to that hero no other hero in the game will have those skills and then the last two skills off on the right here are unlocked as you level up the hero and these are customizable skills and what that means is if you tap on them you can actually change what this skill is you'll see that each hero has a variety of different skills that they can add to that slot and this means that there's a lot of different strategy that goes with choosing the skills for your hero now with regards to skills the first skill is called your commander skill and this skill is only going to be activated if your hero is the commander of your army and the way that you can tell if your hero is the commander is if you come over to your army tab right here you'll see that the hero that is in the first slot is your commander and you can tell because there's a little red commander banner right next to them okay you can see for all of my different armies uh, this is the commander your first slot here and then you have two secondary heroes in your army or deputies or whatever you want to call them and as you can see the commander skill for Richard is activated and is highlighted in gold whereas the commander skill for the other two heroes is not active it is in gray and that's how you know that the commander skill is only active for the commander of the army the next thing I'd like to point out about heroes and when you're powering up your heroes is that the rank of your hero does matter a lot and the amount of medals that you're going to need to max out the rank of your hero rank five being the highest uh, does increase exponentially so each additional rank will cost more medals than the previous one last time that I checked it costs 600 medals in total to get rank five for a hero it also costs 10 medals to summon that hero or to unlock them in your account so as you can see here with my Ronnie she has no points put into her first rank and it will cost three medals to add a point to that rank and once you get all five points for that rank the star is complete and you're unlocking this bonus right here for that rank heroes in this game typically have power spikes at rank one three and five and you can tell that because each time you'll see a sort of unique benefit is unlocked for each of these ranks whereas for rank two and rank four it's more of just a sort of passive like flat buff to some specific stat or something along those lines again if we take a look at Guan Yu for example we have some more unique effects happening at rank one three and five and then if we look at rank two and rank four it's just flat damage and damage reduction right so really when you're building heroes in the game what you want to focus on is focus on either getting rank one three or five 
depending on how many medals of that hero you're going to be able to get your hands on stopping at rank two or rank four for example i mean you get a benefit from them but the benefit is much smaller than if you were to do rank three or rank five or even just rank one to be honest with you for most heroes a good stopping point is going to be rank three this is a nice middle ground because remember what i said before it costs more and more medals the more and more stars that you unlock or the higher the rank of that hero and as far as i know getting rank three complete for every legendary hero costs 100 medals to accomplish if i remember correctly the first rank costs 20 medals to complete i believe it's three medals per shard but the last shard is eight which is three times four is 12 and then the last one is eight so that's 20 in total the second star in order to complete it costs 50 medals and i believe it's eight medals per level up until the last one and then the last one is 18 so eight times four plus 18. the third star itself costs i believe 100 medals the fourth star costs 150 medals and the fifth star costs 270 medals so if we understand that a three star hero is a good stopping point for a lot of heroes because you get a vast majority of their value then it's going to cost 10 medals to summon them and 170 medals to get the three star ranking so that's a total of 180 medals to get there and you get a majority of the value for that hero some heroes honestly you don't even have to take that far you could just leave them at rank one and they'll be just fine for 20 medals you'll have a very powerful legendary and i think this is where there's a big misconception people think like oh my god to max out a hero it costs so many medals and it's like in age vampires mobile especially in the early game you don't need to be maxing out every single hero that you get just to use them on the battlefields. You can use heroes at rank one or rank three, and you'll be just fine. They'll be very, very powerful and have a majority of their value and strength at rank three. Now, of course, I'm not going to sit here and say that th that rank three is as good as rank five. It's not objectively, of course, more ranks equals stronger hero. But in many cases, you can get more than half the value out of a commander's rank for about 30% of the metal cost. So keep that in mind. Okay. So now that you understand heroes a little bit better and where they get their power from and how their skills work let's go over some of the best builds that you can do here in age of empires mobile at least in the early game which is where i am right now and moving into the mid game first up we're going to start with swordsman because you start the game with josephine and she's actually a decent swordsman that you can use as a free to play player and when you first start age of empires mobile you're going to see a seven day login event and on day seven you're going to get your hands on hammurabi and luckily Hammurabi being a free to play legendary is also a pretty good swordsman here in age of empires mobile but not only are you guaranteed to get your hands on Hammurabi if you just log into the game for a week but you can also get more of him from the tavern which is awesome because you're going to be getting free recruits from the tavern depending on the level of your tavern the higher the level of your tavern the more of these free recruits you're going to get and by doing events you can get your hands on some legendary arrival recruitment tokens as well just a reminder the only way to get legendaries from the tavern is the golden recruit the elite recruitments here you are not going to get your hands on any legendaries and the final swordsman of this three hero lineup is King Derek and great news King Derek is also a free to play legendary you get them from the Giants roar event this event comes around periodically and is especially at the start of a server this is as far as I know the only way to get your hands on King Derek and that's a great thing because that means you can get your hands on a legendary hero 100 free to play i guess you could technically you know exchange your universal medals but i would not recommend doing that because again you can just get him for free and that's going to give you a really nice free to play player swordsman lineup now the benefit of these three heroes is not only are they all swordsmen right they have the specialty of for swordsmen but they are all also warrior military spec and one of the cool things that you'll notice in your talents is and i guess i should show you a higher level hero here so i can really prove this to you but once you unlock this strength in numbers talent it says activates the hero's military specialty with two heroes sharing the same specialty they receive a 20 percent bonus for all attributes and if three heroes share the specialty the bonus is increased to 30 percent so by having all three heroes in your army be warriors you're going to get that bonus and all three being swordsmen you're going to see again 
another 15% bonus here. So if I show you guys what this looks like, for example, my Richard Leonidas and Barbarossa, this is a little bit of a foreshadowing, by the way, uh, you can see that I have three pikemen and they're all warriors, which means I have 180% troop bonus, which is a ton of bonus stats. You definitely want to be building your armies around these attribute multipliers because you're just going to have more stats on the battlefield if you do this if you just put together and piece together random heroes you're going to lose those synergistic bonuses and you are going to underperform you're going to be wondering why all these legendaries don't do anything or they're not performing as you expect it's because you need heroes that have synergy with one another now later down the line there's going to be an event that comes around called the legendary advent it's actually a sort of wheel event and you can see that there's a hero called tribuana she is available on that wheel event and she is also a swordsman warrior and this is pretty cool now let me show you guys really quick because we have the legendary advent event right now right now you can either get richard or attila i did 200 spins for richard and i posted it in a live stream on my channel check that out if you want to see how many medals i got for 200 spins it's kind of crazy but the reason that the legendary advent event is so good for free to play players is because if you come down here you'll see that there are milestone rewards for spinning this wheel and if you spin the wheel just 20 times you get and i can't show you here because i've already claimed it but you get 10 medals of the hero that you're spinning for and as you guys know 10 medals summons that hero you unlock them right so if you spin this wheel 20 times you are guaranteed to get the legendary hero that's on the wheel even if you have horrible luck and great news this event is around for five days in total and each day you get one free spin which means you get five free spins and you need 20 to unlock the hero guaranteed so you only have to pay for 15 spins using your empire coins and even as a free-to-play player if you're participating in events and logging in every day getting your daily bonuses and things like that then you are going to be able to get your hands on a guaranteed legendary when these wheels come around so with that being said tribuana being on that legendary advent wheel event makes her a prime candidate for unlock for free to play players and if you do unlock tribuana understand that she is a support hero here and the other cool thing about tribuana is really her rank one is really quite good but her rank three and rank five like they're they're nice but i feel like they're not as powerful as rank one like rank three increases the activation chance by three percent it's only three percent for 170 medals whereas rank one is only 20 medals and you get a really powerful effect here increasing recovery rate by 40 percent and three triggers every time so tribuana a great swordsman hero for free-to-play players and if you want to use her you can bench your josephine and you can make King Derek the primary hero. So you would do King Derek, then Hammurabi, and then the third would be Tribuana. Next, let's talk about a swordsman army that is a little bit more of a low spender army, okay? And that's going to come in the form of Miyamoto. Miyamoto is going to be your primary commander here. Miyamoto is unlocked through the VIP bundles. I've purchased every VIP bundle except for VIP zero. VIP zero does not actually give you any of the Miyamoto medals, but VIP one does. So keep that in mind. And if you buy VIP one through six, you can actually guaranteed get your Miyamoto to three stars, which is, I think it's less than $50 to do that. I wasn't keeping track, but honestly, three star Miyamoto has a very strong power spike and he's very good at three stars. I mean, a 30% skill damage bonus at rank three is crazy and a 50% damage increase of moment of yin here, which is his signature skill. This is very powerful stuff rank one and three rank five does have some bonus activation chance but again it's pretty low three percent chance five percent increase in activation chance for the highest might hero so again rank five is better but i think the rank one and three effects are much stronger and so for a few of the vip bundles you can have an extremely strong legendary hero who's very friendly for low spenders additionally you're still going to have your hands on king derek so you might as well use king derek here for this army and then you can also put hammurabi in here until you get your hands on once again tribuana so the final build would be miyamoto as the primary then king derek as the secondary and then tribuana as the tertiary or the 
second secondary hero in the army now the last swordsman hero i want to talk about here is yodit i'm sorry if i mispronounced that but this hero you might not see in the game right now depending on what server you're playing in but she comes around a little bit later in your server's progression and as you can see here she is a warrior swordsman unit just like tribuana she can be obtained from the legendary advent event which makes her very friendly for free to play and low spenders although in this build we are using miyamoto so that's a hero that you have to get by buying the vip bundle but if you did miyamoto as the primary and then you put tribuana and then finally yodit then what you would be able to do is well you would be benching your king david you can use king david and josephine which you have now freed up both of them for an archer build which we'll talk about near the end of the video so make sure you stay tuned for that but you free up those two heroes for archers if you want to now her signature skill not only deals might damage to the target but it also adds a stack of deterrence to your army and each stack of deterrence increases the hero's might by up to four stacks there's also a chance to enter the damage immunity state for one second which literally ignores all damage that you would take on that turn which is quite nice if we take a look at her rank here her first rank increases that signature skill damage by 30 percent so for 20 medals that's crazy rank three increases the activation chance of that from 25 to 30 percent only a five percent increase honestly but the rank five is actually insane because this lets you get these stacks of deterrence up to six instead of four and each stack is even stronger plus the increase in the chance of damage immunity by five percent so if you plan on going for her even though unlocking her uh is relatively easy with the wheel but rank five is quite good right and so this is a hero that might be somebody who is like low to mid if not mid to higher spend but she pairs really well with miyamoto and with tribuana so i wanted to at least mention her here because she's somebody you might want to think about and plan for because you know she's going to be coming later down the line now before we go any further I know a lot of you are probably wondering what about the epic heroes here in Age of Empires mobile and while they are much easier to get your hands on than the legendaries they simply just don't have very many stats which means they don't perform very well out in PvP and PvE content and so really for epic heroes unfortunately it seems like you kind of just ignore them if you need to fill in a third slot in the early game then you can use an epic hero as the third slot just make sure that it matches the troop type and make sure it tra uh, matches the military specialization but I would not spend a ton of your you know upgrade to tombs on these uh it's just not really worth it the epic heroes are instantly outclassed even by a legendary that only has like one rank in it or maybe even less okay with that out of the way let's talk about pikemen okay we talked about swordsmen I gave you guys a couple of builds now let's talk about pikemen and this is exciting because this is actually what I've been working on on my main account which is why I spun the wheel so much for Richard and Richard's very important because he's kind of a catalyst for like every single pikeman army we're going to talk about in this video but before we do that let's talk about some heroes that are actually 100 free and the first one we can talk about is Joan of Arc you actually get Joan of Arc as soon as you start playing the game you'll get her in the tutorial you'll summon her from the tavern and you're going to get medals of her for free over time as you open up more summons in the tavern and through the battlefield survivor game mode for example when you go to the challenge mode option right here it'll say survive for 12 minutes and defeat the boss and the reward will be 10 medals of either Josephine or Joan of Arc now I'm going to be fully transparent with you guys I think Josephine is a stronger hero than Joan of Arc but if you're not going to be using Josephine at all for example you're running swordsman with Miyamoto Tribuana and King Derek you're just never going to use Josephine then maybe you would pick Joan of Arc but I would say for a majority of you especially if you're free to play you don't need Joan of Arc here but all of that to say that Joan of Arc is a free to play legendary hero and if you wanted to build pikemen then Joan of Arc is a prime candidate to be in that free to play army additionally if we come back to this seven day login event you'll see that on day two you actually unlock another legendary hero you're gonna get this hero before you'll get Hammurabi in fact and that is Darius the Great or is it Darius I don't know if I pronounced that correctly but regardless once again we have a free to play legendary hero in Age of Empires mobile the game feels very generous with free legendaries when you first start the game we have Darius we have Joan of Arc 
we have Josephine we have Hammurabi we have King Derek like they just give you so many free legendaries here which is why I, I tell you like you can build free to play armies here of all legendaries and it's totally possible right and you don't need to max them out that's the cool thing but anyway Joan of Arc and Darius you're gonna get them on day two by day two you'll have both of these legendaries for free and they are both warrior pikemen you'll see them both with the same spec and with the same troop type and then that leaves us with the third hero here and that's going to be Richard now like I said with Tribuana Richard is a hero that you get from the legendary advent event the wheel that comes around and so you want to save up your empire coins so that way you can at least spin this legendary advent 20 times and guarantee your Richard unlock now for me this came around I think on the third day of the server and it was Richard Attila I'm pretty sure that's always the first wheel for a server you can let me know in the comment section below if there's something else that you've had in your kingdom but regardless Richard is very important for this army because he is where a lot of your damage is going to come from and he's going to be your primary commander here the number one hero in your army his commander skill deals might damage to up to three nearby enemy troops and increases damage based on the current number of mark of the Lionheart stacks and reduces their movement speed and here you could see his signature skill is where he gets those marks of the Lionheart so each time your troop is hit by a normal attack you gain one stack of mark of Lionheart up to two stacks per second after you get 20 stacks you deal one instance of damage to an enemy troop and all stacks will be removed and additionally you increase your might depending on number of troop losses that you have maximum of 50 percent so really with pikemen you're building a sort of like anti-swarm prickly counter-attack damage build the more you're attacked the more marks you're going to get and then the more damage you're going to deal with your commander skill here on richard so overall this is a solid free to play build and if you look Look at rank one here 50 percent counter-attack damage bonus for Richard insane for a single rank 50 percent more damage is wild rank three is a very good place to stop for Richard as well I'm working my way there myself his rank five is also quite good honestly but again that's 600 metal so it really just depends we're talking about free to play right now so free to play I would say rank one is a good place for you but regardless you're going to be doing Richard as the primary Joan of Arc as the second in command and you'll be doing Darius the Great as third in command and eventually you're going to want to replace Darius because honestly even though he's a legendary he's not great and you'll notice that he does have like the Galar gathering specialty he really isn't anything super special so if you can replace him you should and luckily we have another hero that we can talk about that you can get your hands on and that is Boudica now here's the thing with Boudica you might not actually see her in game for you right now because Boudica does come around a little bit later in your server's progression but Boudica is a hero that you can get your hands on from the legendary advent event and she is much better than Darius the Great okay so once Boudica comes around for you bench Darius the Great put Boudica in there and she's going to be popping off much better than he would so that lineup would be Richard as the primary commander then you would have Joan of Arc and Boudica and it's lit now the reason that I can see her is because I switched over to my Kingdom 5 account just so I can have access to all this additional stuff but she is somebody that you might want to plan on later down the line maybe you slowly build up your pikeman army in the early game and then really go all in later on when she finally is unlocked I think that would be fine now if you are a low spender here in Age of Empires mobile then you've got a couple of different options first of all you're going to keep Richard like I said before he's the catalyst here you just keep him for the whole thing he is the primary now the second in command would be Leonidas Leonidas is a hero that you can get your hands on from making purchases in the game here you have a choice between Mulan or uh, Leonidas both of these heroes are actually quite good and we'll talk about Mulan a little bit later in the video but Leonidas is very powerful for a legendary pikeman hero so you want to get your hands on him if you're building pikeman and you can put him as second in command to your Richard as the primary there's a lot of synergy here between Richard and Leonidas and if you're a low spender you can unlock Leonidas for a very small amount of money I think you unlock him first for a dollar yeah you get him for a dollar so like I mean it's he is very low spender friendly additionally just like I said before getting him to rank three would be another great choice rank one also very good increases your counter attack damage of your unyielding soul skill by 15 percent that is your signature skill here okay unyielding soul and when I was using him before you'll see he fights on the battlefield 
you'll see unyielding assault pop up a ton on the battlefield um and this is like the extra chances to deal might damage right and so like i said before with richard the synergy here is it it really punishes people that try to swarm you down you're dealing a ton of counter attack damage very good stuff here okay rank three increases the trigger chance by four percent uh, it's a small bonus here but it is nice but really if you are a low spender getting rank one i mean that would be a good place to stop and then the third hero in your army is i you have a couple of different choices okay first of all if you have nobody else you throw Joan of Arc in there and that's it in the early game you can use Barbarossa he is actually again a low spend friendly hero the way that you're going to get your hands on Barbarossa is from purchasing the daily bundle or by getting your hands on the premium track of effectively the battle pass okay Kingdom's Horde is pretty much a battle pass you can get your hands on it as you play, play through the game in my current kingdom uh you can get your hands on a ton of different things here you'll see in kingdom five you have the choice to obtain a ton of different heroes from the kingdom sword battle pass so if you're a low spender this is actually a pretty good value uh, you don't need to buy the 25 dollar bundle the 15 dollar one if you're active the 15 dollar one should be fine and you'll get your hands on barbarossa or again like i said you could just do the daily special get your hands on barbarossa this way he's also great like i said there's a couple of different choices here later down the line but barbarossa definitely a low spender friendly hero that you can use for pikemen and then finally you can replace Barbarossa with Boudica if you just wait long enough you want to go from Joan of Arc to Boudica and you don't want to spend on Barbarossa you could do that or you can bench Barbarossa if you're going to spin a ton for Boudica but either way uh, you're going to be doing the Richard as the commander then Leonidas and then one of those three as the third choice next up let's talk about cavalry now cavalry is a very interesting troop type and from what I understand from other players who've played the game for a bit longer than me it sounds like cavalry in the early game aren't that great but later down the line they have a really powerful commander in the form of Lu Bu that kind of unlocks the performance of cavalry but if you are a free to play player and you do want to play as cavalry and you want to focus on building cavalry heroes in age of empires mobile then you do have some options now you might be asking me on New York why would people build cavalry if you're telling them that early game they're not great or whatever the answer is because they actually are the fastest units in the entire game if we take a look at the stats here from our um our units the cavalry have 90 base movement speed whereas the other troop types only have 75 and that persists all the way up to the maximum tier of troop in the game so keep that in mind cavalry are the fastest units in the game and so if you want to move them around the battlefield to a more strategic position perhaps you want to use them to travel through trees and things like that uh, undetected by the way because that's how that works in this game sneak around and flank the enemy on the battlefield cavalry would be the way you want to do that because they're going to do it faster but regardless Guan Yu is going to be the first hero we talk about here he is free to play friendly in that you get him from summons in the tavern okay I would not do any metal exchanges for him and honestly any hero that you get from the tavern I wouldn't probably do any metal exchanges for none of them are like so insanely good that you should be doing that and you're going to get them for free over time anyway but Guan Yu is going to be the first hero we talk about here for cavalry he is a critical strike hero he is again the warrior specialization for cavalry and his kit is built around critical strike and his critical strike rate second to Guan Yu is going to be once again Darius the Great this is a again free to play hero that you get your hands on just by logging in on the second day and so you might as well use him get use out of him if you are a free to play player you can throw him into your cavalry lineup here and then finally you have have Attila Attila is uh, great for cavalry he's honestly also great for archers as well some players use him for that too but he has some synergy with our boy Guan Yu because you can see that he is based all around double attacks which is launching two normal attacks in a in the same turn and more attacks means more chances of getting a critical hit and so there's kind of some synergy here with Guan Yu where it's like you're doing more attacks with Attila and Guan Yu has a higher chance of critting with those attacks right and so there's a little bit of synergy there nice little engine going on which is nice and again Attila is unlocked through the legendary advent and the wheel so you only need 20 spins to get your hands on him for free now just like with Pikemen we have a hero in the, by the name of Ronnie 
uh, or Rani, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. And she is a hero that you can get your hands on through either the Kingdom Horde Battle Pass or through the daily purchases like we talked about before with Barbarossa. Now, if you do want to go that route, then you can bench Darius the Great and throw Rani in there and you are good to go. The synergy here is obvious, but she gives you extra normal attack damage. So with Guan Yu, you have more critical strikes. And with Attila, you have more normal attacks. And with Rani, now you're going to be dealing stronger normal attacks, which is stronger crits. And so there's a lot of synergy there, which is nice. But the real star of the show is Lu Bu. Uh, and this is where you're really going to see a nice bump in damage for your cavalry army. Once you get your hands on Lubu, and again, this is one of those heroes similar to Boudica that you're not going to get your hands on right at the start of the game. He does come later down the line, which is why cavalry are a little bit underwhelming at first until you get your hands on Lubu. Uh, Lubu is where things start to pop off. Lubu will now be your primary commander in the army. No longer will Guan Yu be there. Lubu will take that spot. And this is a five target might damage circular aoe insane damage here insane and the initial cast is only a hundred rage so you're gonna pop this off very quickly when you get into the battlefield so much aoe damage you can also deal critical strikes here which those critical strikes are going to be increased with your guan yu who will be your second in command and you can see here that lubu himself also increases his critical strike rate so lots to love here also his rank one gives his unrivaled prowess an additional five percent critical strike rate that's his signature skill by the way so him and guan yu are a match made in heaven here in age of empires mobile and then that third slot is one once again going to be filled in by Attila now again Attila extra normal attacks which you have even higher crit chance now so this army is going to be insane you have AoE you have bonus normal attacks you have bonus crit chance and that's going to do it for our cavalry lineups finally we have to talk about archers and if you're a free-to-play player then we can circle back to Josephine because she is unlocked at the start of the game and she does happen to be an archer hero as well and what do you know so is king derek king derek is also an archer hero and so great news uh you can use josephine and king derek not only for a swordsman lineup but also for an archer lineup and so if you build these heroes in the early game and you build them for swordsmen and then let's say you unlock better swordsmen down the line you end up getting miyamoto or something along those lines then these heroes don't necessarily become useless you can just move them over to an, an archer army and start building an archer army itself. And whether you're using swordsmen or archers with Josephine and King Derek, uh, the synergy is the same. They're both dealing might damage and he inflicts the route state on the target. Targets in the route state take might damage every second and increases the might damage that they take as well. Um, the other benefit too of King Derek is that he this is a debuff right and so and this is why it's great for free to play because they can debuff a target and then all of your allies that are hitting that target are also going to benefit from that target being in the route state right so if you have you know your nearby allies are dealing might damage right which they probably are a lot of the early game heroes deal might damage then they're going to get a benefit from you being the person that debuffed them which is really really cool so even if as a free to play player you're not the hardest hitting on the battlefield you still can support your allies by inflicting those types of debuffs now our third in command here is going to be Attila if you're a free to play player because you can get your hands on him like I said earlier for free by doing 20 spins on the legendary advent event and same thing here he just has extra double attacks so you're just going to be dealing more normal damage and his first rank gives you a bonus to your commander's might whenever annihilator is activated which is his signature skill okay so that extra might is going to cause you to deal more damage with josephine and with king derek and those extra normal attacks on attila synergize really well with the signature skill here on josephine so that's going to be your three hero lineup if you're free to play for archers but if you're a low spender this is where mulan really steps up to the plate because like leonidas she's very cheap you can unlock her for one dollar literally it's one dollar uh, and she is going to be a very powerful archer hero and her synergy with attila is amazing so we love to see that now there's a little bit of conflict here um if you are going to build an an archer march then you're going to be conflicting with building a cavalry march later right because as i said the lubu army with guan yu uses attila 
and this Mulan build also uses Attila and you only have one Attila so you got to choose where to put it so really you want to think about that when you start investing in these heroes right but regardless uh, as you can see with Mulan she deals four rapid fire instances of might damage and her signature skill says you deal extra might damage after launching a normal attack and so as we talked about before Attila gives you additional normal attacks which gives you more damage with Mulan so Mulan is going to be the primary here in the army and we know that Attila is going to be in the army as well he'll probably be in the third army slots the second hero that you can slide in here is either going to be Josephine or King Derek depending on what exactly you're doing obviously King Derek is nice because he does have that route state causes the target to take more might damage and you're going to be dealing a ton of might damage with the signature skill on Mulan with the extra normal attacks from Attila but if you're using King Derek in another army then you could use Josephine instead who also has synergy with Attila like we said before launching additional normal attacks and then finally later down the line when Bellevue is unlocked she is a hero that you can get from the legend legendary advent event which makes her pretty friendly for free to play players as well although you still use Mulan in this build but regardless you can do Bellevue as the primary hero in your army and you can pair her with Attila and Mulan and you're going to have a very powerful warrior archer build and that will completely bench both Josephine or King Derek or like I said earlier you can use them in your swordsman lineup anyway guys this video was much longer than I thought it would be hopefully you found it useful and if you made it all the way to the end of this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other Age of Empires mobiles players might see it while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and click the bell to be notified the next time I upload another Age of Empires mobile video and comment down below anything that you want to add to these builds do you think I missed something am I wrong about something let me know in the comment section below I am still learning the game just like you guys so I'm always looking for opportunities to learn and once again i want to thank age of empires mobile for sponsoring today's video generous sponsors like them help me do what i do here on youtube so if you want to support age of empires mobile you can download it today for free with my link down below and if you want to play with me you can find me in server empire 64 for the path to the imperial city event guys with that being said thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace